Welcome to the Hyper Growth Zone podcast. This is your go-to resource for personal growth, mastering communication, and influencing and persuasion techniques that will help you unleash the full potential of yourself and others. Here is your host, Alex Morgan. Welcome back, everyone. This is episode number 14 of the Hyper Growth Zone podcast. My name is Alex Morgan, and I'm a master trainer of hypnosis and NLP. And today we have another special guest, and this is someone who's created the High Achievers Lifestyle Technique and they're a personal development enthusiast. So Mike Williams, Mike, welcome. Hi, right, Alex. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, I'm super excited to ask you some questions and kind of just see where it goes. Let's let this just flow. So the first sure. thing I was the first thing I was thinking, because you are a personal development enthusiast, we're always talking about different courses and trainings that we've taken. Mm -hmm. What would you say, what got you into personal development? Can you kind of tell everyone a little bit about your journey? Sure, sure. So you know, Alex, I would say that um, unknowingly, my journey started as a kid. I was a book smart kid, but I suffered from low self-esteem. And then as a teen, you know, I decided to um, leave home and run with the, you know, the so-called bad boys. And <laughs> But this ended up, you know, leading to... Uh, alcohol and substance abuse and then all the financial and, and legal issues that come with that lifestyle. It was at the age of 37 that I actually finally hit my bottom um, and I went into a treatment facility and it was there when I first heard, you know, things about, you know, how we create, you know, negative habits and, uh, hearing about these chemicals and stuff in the brain, in particular dopamine. And, you know, with me kind of being a nerdy person, you know, it was interesting, you know, all science and everything. But at that time, I really just wanted to be um, clean in what I perceived as normal, which was, you know, just a guy kind of working a job and getting paychecks and paying bills. Um, so from there, you know, after attending um, AA and NA meetings, and then I also, you know, incorporated uh, church on a regular basis, I was very fortunate that um, the pastors um, over my li lifetime so far were avid readers, and they introduced me to some books uh, that, you know, took me a little deeper as far as dealing with the mind because you know i realized that in church there's a lot of scriptures that talk about you know transforming the mind or whatever but it was kind of tricky knowing you know what that really looks like and how that happens and so um one of the guys um introduced me to um as a man thinketh mm. and at that point in time as we were doing the book read uh it was just so interesting for me to, to hear that how we can control our lives you know with our mind that kind of took me on a journey and um as i started kind of believing that but still not knowing more really still focusing more on my skills you know i worked in it uh as far as changing my lifestyle that way um and then i finally said you know enough is enough i'm going to take a plunge and go for being greater and got into sales and after several unsuccessful sales positions um eventually i discovered the the issue had to do with mindset. Fortunately, um, there was a point in time when I ran into you 
on Facebook. And uh, that's when you taught me how to set goals. From there, it was like just um, this whole new great experience and life change for me. And as we know, I could not stop consuming material related to, you know, NLP and hypnosis. And then I worked with you to uh, get certified in those things. And so now here I am ready to help others. Okay, cool. So I was, as you were talking, um, because we've known each other for a few years, just so the listeners are kind of familiar with both of us here. I was thinking, you know, even though you were a student of mine at, uh, of mine at one point, when you brought up sales, I was like, good, Mike is excellent at sales. He's excellent at marketing. And he can do this in many ways, really get into the mind of others and help others through words, uh, through written words, spoken words, all of this. So you kind of ended with talking about NLP and hypnosis um, and going into one of my trainings after you learned a bit about goals. What would you say was like the tipping point? Why did you decide, hey, I want to learn NLP? I would say that the biggest thing that inspired me was, as most salespeople, you know, you're trying to figure out, you know, why am I having these ups and downs? And they give you all these tactics or, or, you know, certain phrases or things to say that supposed to always work. But it wasn't until um, I learned and discovered that some of the best people actually have been trained in NLP. And that's what inspired me to do that. And I have to say that it totally brought about a whole transformation in my life because it changed uh, the way I view the world and the quality of people that are around me now. I And I could probably just go on Alex on how much has made a difference for me. No, that's awesome. Um, obviously, everyone has tons of takeaways uh, when they do an intense training like NLP. And I know you, uh, during the training, did a great job with all the techniques. And it's amazing to see people uh, start and then where they end up when they finish. So if you could share, let's say you shared a few already, but what is like the biggest takeaway uh, that you would say from uh, NLP training? So the biggest takeaway for me is understanding um, the model that everyone has a different model of the world. And I know I have spent a great deal of my life viewing and judging people uh, through my perception, how I saw the world. Uh, And then once I understood that Uh, if you're able to listen and understand how the other person's model of the world operates, then communication flows so much better. And again, which then enhances the way you do business and personal relationships. Yeah, I was just going to say that's a really common takeaway because it's something that you can use every single day. So if I know, for everyone listening, if I know, for example, how Mike likes to hear questions, I can cater those questions to his specific model of the world. Because it doesn't necessarily matter to me what the questions are because I'm asking them to him. So that's one small example of just understanding everyone's model of the world. So in NLP, we teach everyone to respect the other person's model of the world and change our communication to cater to their model of the world because we're trying to help them get the results. So it doesn't matter so much what we want to get out of something. We want to work with people and get them results. So you mentioned earlier as well that you're now working to help people do things that are similar with all the things that you gathered throughout your journey here. So what are you offering now to your audience so everyone can be familiar with what you do? Sure. So uh, during my journey, I got involved at at real estate at one time, and um, that was definitely a tough, tough experience. Um, What I discovered is that 
there's a lot of, you know, coaching programs or whatever that teach these people how to get leads or, you know, uh, just sort of more, um, I would say the mechanics of the business, but very little as far as their mindset. And I think where a lot of people miss the point is that we're all human beings. And so therefore, whether, you know, you're a real estate investor or CEO or, you know, plumber or whatever, uh, having a, a sharp mind and, and understanding how to effectively communicate and just to strive for excellence, um, makes a more uh, successful person. So because of those connections, I am currently getting ready to offer, um, a coaching program for real estate investors since I kind of have a heart for those guys. Uh, however, um, the technique that I've created, the high achievers lifestyle technique is something that would work for any individuals. I am focusing right now on these high achievers, um, so because I've found that these people, uh, tend to feel stuck. They've made a certain point of success, but then they feel stuck. They have fears that if they can take, you know, their business any higher, that, um, they would, uh, limit themselves to the lifestyle that they desire well, using some of the processes, uh, from NLP and of course, um, uh, hypnosis. Um, my thing is that I would, uh, first start with some of those things that we don't even know that may be sitting in the subconscious and that it would be causing these barriers to grow. And then from there, just an ongoing process where, um, individuals can, um, get the freedom, just, uh, totally, uh, able to use their mind to the fullest extent, but most important, um, giving them as many tools as possible that they can apply these things themselves, um, freely without, you know, need for me being there all the time. Awesome. I think that's a really good point. The last point that you made, because a lot of the things that I think you offer in the high achievers lifestyle technique, since they're created to actually create that lifestyle, why not have it be long lasting? So I think what you said about finding some things kind of deep in the unconscious mind, if we can then, of course, you can help people release those things, then they can have the lifestyle that they want, the freedom and all of these things. So it sounds exciting to me and I love the name as well. So thanks for sharing that with us. I just wanted to, I know you have, since we've spoken a bit before, we did a little preparation for this. Do you, I know you have a few uh, case studies. Um, so what kind of results have you seen uh, people get so far, would you say? I would say, you know, the case studies and, you know, actually working with people moving from the, the book to human beings is so amazing. And, you know, one thing that I'd like to say is that uh, we want, you know, people to understand that we don't have a magic wand, but there are, you know, quite a few instances where things can happen, you know, within minutes, change can happen quickly for some. I've had some cases where I um, was working with a lady who had a bear of spiders. And after one session, you know, it was gone. Um, same thing with someone who had a phobia, you know, of dogs. Several entrepreneurs, you know, who were afraid of how their life would change. I had one lady used the word invisible. She felt, she said she felt that, you know, switching, going to six figures to seven, she just had this fear that she would be invisible, meaning no longer having time with their family and things like that. And so through some reframing, um, was able to get her to see that she can have that and have time with family and enjoy, you know, life that the way that she desires to have it in her business. 
Each and every day, I mean, working with individuals, Alex, it is just quite fascinating. But the the great part of doing this is that it also uh, helps with self development because sometimes we can see ourselves, whether past or present, or just pick up certain golden nuggets that help us be better individuals. Yeah, I think that um, the last one you mentioned, that's probably a huge lifestyle change for the person to make more money and see the freedom that they have. And I think also the point that you made about seeing things in others, I notice all the time that most of the people I work with, it's either something that I'm working through currently sometimes, Mm -hmm. or it's a problem that I just solved very recently in my own life. So we end up seeing people that are like projections of ourselves Mm -hmm. sometimes. So it's very interesting. We actually create change too when we work with people and it's amazing to see. And I think that's why we also bond so well with uh, clients. Um, Of course, we have a professional relationship. However, we, you know, create such a nice trust and compassion with each other. So with, with all that being said, Mike, do you have anything else that you would uh, like to add about the lifestyle technique or your program? Yeah, where you know, I find you and things like that. One note I would add to that is, you know, most people don't understand the power, you know, of our unconscious mind. And as just as you know, we were speaking about how you know we can work with people and and get certain golden nuggets. Is once you develop that relationship with your unconscious mind and literally ask for answers for things, you know, that we need to get past, they will be provided. And I, Alex, I've seen where it just happens sometimes in the most, um, let's say magical way, you know, whether through another individual or something I could be reading or, or even, you know, I'm just relaxed and watching a movie and something is said that gives me that answer. So, you know, which makes me grateful and which also makes me, you know, driven to help people. Entrepreneurs who have that sort of clarity in their life, uh, these are the people who are out there in turn uh, helping and, and giving, you know, and if I can just make, you know, one small change in one individual, I'm looking for a trickle effect to just to make this world a better place. Awesome. Yeah, it's all about making those small changes. Uh, and I'd like to add something to the, about the unconscious mind to, so everyone can hear it. Cause Mike also made a great point about finding answers within the unconscious mind. If I just ask it some questions, once we build a great rapport with that. And I'm sure that's part of his lifestyle technique. The unconscious mind, once we start seeing good in one part of life, it starts to generalize. The unconscious mind loves to generalize. So it goes to other parts of life and it wants good everywhere. So it can all start with one change, like Mike says. So thanks so much for sharing that. And just to kind of end things, uh, Mike, where can uh, people find you? Where, where can they connect with you? What's the best way to contact you just so people have all this information if they're interested in the high achievers lifestyle technique? Sure. So um, right now my um, website is under construction, but there's a page up. It is changenowinstitute.com. Um, there you can connect with me via Facebook or email. And my email is mike at changenowinstitute.com. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks so much, Mike, for coming on. I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to hearing about your success with the High Achievers Lifestyle Program, and I appreciate you coming on, and thanks, everyone, for listening. So wherever you're listening to this podcast, I'd really appreciate it if everyone left a review with their honest feedback so we know how we can improve. Thanks again, Mike, and we're signing off for now. Thanks, Alec.